One, um, and, and interestingly enough, it, it took looking back on it for me to see it for what it actually was. Um, I was riding through Illinois with a friend, another, another black woman. We were real young too. I think we were maybe 19 or 20. I think I was 19 and she was 18. And we're driving through Illinois, like that part where it's like corn on one side and wheat on the other, and like it's a few cows sprinkled in there somewhere. And it's broad daylight, we weren't speeding, and we get pulled over. And like at the time, I didn't really think much of it because first 24 years of my life, I had a cop in my house. My dad was a police officer. So I grew up with a very different, with a very positive perception of police officers because I saw them and I saw my father. Um, but yeah, so he pulled us over and I knew something was off when he made my friend, my friend was driving, he made her get out of the car and sit in his squad car while he ran her license and registration. And I was like, okay, that's weird, but okay. Um, after about 15 minutes, she comes and gets back in the car and all this man says is, you need to take your graduation castle off of the rear view mirror. It can't be up there. I was like, what? Why did you pull us over? So that's the worst, well, not the worst, but that's like the most interesting encounter I've had with law enforcement that I'm pretty sure had to do with just being a black woman driving a car. Um, and thank God it didn't go poorly. Looking back, I'm like, wow, that could have gone super bad, so I'm thankful that it didn't. But most of the incidents you hear about in the book that are either pulled for current events or, or things that my little brother dealt with. Um, I think my brother was 16 the first time he was profiled and it just scared the mess out of him. He was profiled like in a Taco Bell parking lot and it really, it really messed him up, you know, and this is, it's an interesting thing. I think about the concept of policing, right? Not police. Police are human beings. We all have our faults, our flaws, the thing, we have things in our heads that probably need to be rooted out and re rethought. Um, but policing as a concept is very interesting to me. It's the one thing in our country that's based entirely on negative power, right? So you don't do what I say, I punish you. That's it, like that's what policing is in this country. And so I've been doing a lot of research lately about like how policing works in other places and how um, punishment works in other places and, and the idea of rehabilitating people who have broken the law or incentivizing obeying the law and things like that, but hopefully we'll get there eventually. Yes, sir. I didn't. What's interesting, the Hate You Give book was written after Drew Martin. Um, Angie and I are really great friends, and we met, let's see, we met in probably in October of 2015, and Drew Martin was already written. Um, so we just happen to be writing about the same thing at around the same time. And I'm glad that both books exist because you're getting two very different perspectives on a similar issue. And read them both. You did? Good. Okay, now, now read All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brenda Kiley. Reading's good if it's a good book. But see, but that's because I didn't have the right books. If I had, had the right books, it would have been different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The right book is what really started it for me. Um, there was one book I read, well really two, there were two books I read in high school that I like picked up on my own. Um, that made me be like, yeah, maybe this thing ain't so bad, this whole reading thing. Uh, one of those books is called The Virgin Suicides. It is just as morbid and dark as it sounds. It is about five sisters who over the course of a year all die by suicide. And this is like the premise of the book. But you see them each getting to that point. And what was fascinating to me about this book while it was this like lily white girl in this white, 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 wasn't a person of color anywhere in the town we lived in, 
I was able to identify with some of the stuff they were going through, like overprotective parents, like dealing with adults who weren't listening and who didn't understand, dealing with, you know, wanting to go to prom, things like that, things that I was able to identify with that I was dealing with at the time. Reading a book that I could see myself in, in a way, was what made me think, okay, maybe this isn't so bad. Another book was The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Yeah, and, and like, that was also, oh, I'm about to tell you I'm on business, um, but that was also the first book I read that had a relationship between two females, which is something that I was dealing with at the time. Um, my second book is all about that. My second book is called Odd One Out. That one came out in October last year. And that book is about, all right, wait, question. Don't lie. How many of you have ever caught feelings for a friend? Y'all all lying. Where the head, all, every head should be up. Uh-huh. Y'all. Y'all don't want to raise your hand because your friend beside you. I know how it is. But yes. On One Out is about that experience. But it's also about the experience of trying to figure out like who you're actually attracted to. So The Color Purple was the first book I read where you had two women like together in a romantic way. Um, and, and it's a book that made me feel a little more valid. Um, so The Color Purple and The Virgin <coughs> Suicides were the two books that I did read that made me think, okay, Maybe the problem, maybe the problem isn't me. Maybe the problem is the books I'm having, I'm being forced to read. Finding that one book that makes you realize, oh dang, okay, I can, this is a thing I can do, this is a thing that can be interesting. I think that makes all the difference. Those are the books I try to write. Sometimes it works. Yes. Uh -huh. No spoilers. Um, so, so this is the thing, right? I will answer this question with another 